Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Welcome to your 2017 Year Ahead Tarot Reading. I'm doing this in the style of the live spread for the whole year. So this will be the only live spread you'll have in 2017 from the channel. Um, I love the live spread because it focuses on five areas. So we kind of get everything kind of compacted into one. So the live spread will deal with five areas as I've mentioned and that deals with your... Um, personal situation your career your home life your love life and also any future elements that are coming in usually tail end of um 2017 or kind of trickling through the year but showing how everything's kind of working its way future forward uh also your advice card for the year we are all, for this i'm using the um for this, I'm using the uh, Rider Waite uh, Radiant Tarot. But, it, you know, there's no difference really with this to the normal Rider Waite. It's just it's on Glossier card. Um, and we're also using the Witch's Tarot as your anchor deck. Now, the anchor is seven major arcanas. This is 22 major arcanas here. And out of that, we shuffle and we take seven cards. And what those anchor cards do is they show the overall outcome for each section. So, for example, in your love area of your life spread, you'll have the overall outcome card where everything should be heading. Um, so you've got the five areas and then you've got um, the wish card, which is where you're wishing things will head and then the overall outcome. So where everything should be heading to overall in the seventh card at the top. Okay. And as I said, I'm using the, um, Ellen, the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. Okay. Let's make a start, Virgo, for your 2017 live spread. So Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for Virgo. Show me Virgo, what's coming in for Virgo in the year 2017? Show me Virgo, all those born under Virgo, sun, moon and rising signs. Virgo, sun, moon and rising signs. Virgo, sun, moon and rising signs. What's coming in for Virgo, sun, moon and rising signs, please? Show me just Virgo. I just want to see those who are born under Virgo in the year 2017. I need to see what's going on for some of these people in their um, personal situations, their careers their home lives, their love lives, and the future cards, please. And also, please provide me with the advice card. Show me. Okay. We're going to split the deck into three. We're going to collect it back up. And we're going to start with the personal situation here. Now, the top card is called your key card, and this card shows the energies that you'll be experiencing around the situation. All right, the next three cards show, usually I can read these as advice for what you need to do. So sometimes this can be past, present, future, present, present, future, or future, future, future. You can only progress with it. So it can show a person around the situation, what's going on within the situation. But because it's a future reading I'm doing for 2017. We're going to often look at what the key card words are saying to us and what advice is actually coming through in this area. Hope that makes sense to you. We're going to have a look at your um, career here. Let's pull this up a little bit here. What's going on around your home lives? Your love lives? And the future cards here. And this is your advice card here. Okay. And we're going to shuffle on the anchor. So Universe Spirit, where is everything heading for uh, uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs, please? What is the overall outcome in these areas? So I need to see with the, firstly the foundation card. So the foundation of um, the Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. What their lives, what they're going to be focusing on in the year 2017. Also, this foundation card needs to act as the overall outcome for their personal situation. Show me the overall outcome for their careers, for their home lives, the overall outcome for their love lives, the overall outcome for the future position, and also what they are wishing will happen or where everything will head in 2017, and the overall outcome. So the card that shows where everything is heading overall for Virgos, 
Sun, Moon and Rising signs in the year 2017, show me. We're going to split this deck as well. Collect it back up. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay down first the foundation. And this is really the foundation card. Is a card that says, you know, what's the foundation of your world? What's happening around you? Where's your focus heading? That type of thing. This is the outcome for your career, for your love lives. This is the central theme stroke um, outcome for uh, home life. This is what you're wishing or where you're wishing everything will head. This is the outcome for, the overall outcome for your future position and this is where everything is heading overall. So first things first, we need to have a look at what the foundation card is, which is this one here. Wow, the world. Okay, so some of you guys might be looking to complete on certain projects, um, certain tasks within the year 2017. Uh, Virgo, you might be looking to make some great accomplishments, some great achievements with that world card. The world card is the most, okay? So it's the last card of the major arcana that says you've come to the end of a journey. Things have come 360 degrees, um, full circle. So that's where the completion ends and it's starting new cycles. So some of you guys, the foundation might be about starting new cycles uh, within your lives in the year 2017. Um, Virgo, some of you guys... Uh, you might be looking to travel the world, for example, because the world isn't just about uh, completion, ending of cycles, beginning of new ones, but it's also about travel as well. So for some of you guys, it might be some long distance travel you're looking to do, holidays, that type of thing uh, in the year 2017. It might be that you're looking to get yourself out into the world. So you're looking for recognition as well. This can be a card of looking for recognition uh, with the world card. Um, for me, the world card uh, also suggests the need to uh, attain the highest echelon or the highest level so some of you guys will be looking to achieve the highest level whether that be pertaining to exams whether it be pertaining to um, a marriage or relationships um, there's some you know pregnancies that type of thing this world card means many many things we're not going to read it as limitation it can mean limitation in terms of the world that you come to a certain level and you can't go any further but I feel that the foundation card unless it's aspected by something that actually says that I feel that this is a card of you guys looking for recognition in 2017 real accomplishment real achievement accumulation of wealth perhaps uh, accumulation of absolute success completion to certain areas within your life and the starting of new cycles what's going on in your oh sorry about that i've just got a video that's rendered um what's going on in your um uh pred in your personal situation what's the um energies around that well the seven of cups and it can be saying that the energies for your personal situation will be that you guys are looking at a lot of options here the seven of cups often shows up where we're looking at many many options it might be that you're just desirous of the one though because out of these seven cups everything's wrong with the six of them and one cup shows perfection so some of you guys might be looking for perfection amongst many things it might be that you're highly desirous of the one thing amongst many options that you looked at and you're actually going for that and it would make sense with the overall outcome being the world card uh, where some where the actual situation is heading so i feel that there's a lot of choices that you're looking at a lot of options it might be that the overall that the um general energy for your personal situation can show that there's a lot of daydreaming going on for all of you guys and, and it would tally up with that world card because the world means great success is the overall outcome so if you are looking at uh, if you're doing a lot of daydreaming a lot of um wishful thinking which this card can mean as well it means to me that you are wanting to attain something the seven of cups is never really my most favorite card within the tarot because sometimes it means that dreams sit on a cloud sometimes it means that things are not manifesting as yet but it means the capacity to dream that things can manifest. Um, sometimes it means that things are up in the air still. So there might be something around that within the personal situation. A feeling of things being a little bit up in the air and dreaming that maybe something will manifest for you. This is a card of manifestation, but it doesn't manifest with the Seven of Cups. It's more about dreaming of how it could manifest, how you're going to make something work. Doors that could be potentially open to you. Many of you will be looking at different options here, but there might be the one thing that you are completely focused on happening here uh, within your personal situation what's around this 
well, Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups often means the desire to have something back that you have lost. Okay, so we can see that you're dreaming here. A lot of wishful thinking here. And this is around the Five of Cups. Maybe for some of you guys, you're desirous to have something back that you've lost. Perhaps you lost something in 2016. But you're desirous to have it back. Because this person focuses on the cups being empty here. There are failed relationships when you get the Five of Cups. There's disappointment and regret. Oh, we've got the world again. Now, when you get a major arcana... Uh, in the life spread, this section here, and you've got it in the outcome, it's got a very potent message for you. So I feel that disappointment or loss leads to the world. So I feel that there is completion of a uh, journey here with the world card because the world card represents completion. And I feel with this five of cups, you're coming out of a stage where there has been a lot of worry, a lot of sadness, a lot of regret, a lot of disappointment. But the world says that you're completing on that, okay? Because the world represents completion. All right, so we look at a card that kind of with the Five of Cups, it means that you're still hanging in limbo. It means to be in limbo. It means to be still, something still hanging in the balance emotionally with you. Five of Cups is a card about the inability to let go of a sad and disappointing situation here. But you're going to have completion on this with the World card in your personal situation. Wow. And it's going to lead to uh, great success with that Nine of Pentacles. Because the Nine of Pentacles means after all of your hard work and effort and um, focus that you're actually achieving a good outcome here with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, The Nine of Pentacles represents growth, but also a time for rest, uh, healing. Um, and I feel that it leads to healing with this Nine of Pentacles. I feel that loss, There's here we see loss. But it's the over the ending of a cycle that perhaps leads to, and this nine of pentacles can also be a card that suggests being on one's own or being single or taking stock or looking at the most important things around you, um, enjoying your garden, enjoying your home, uh, focusing on your career, focusing on the potential for growth within your career or focusing on the success that you've had. It's really, you know, you get cards like the Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, uh, Queen of Pentacles. All of those types of cards focus on someone who's focusing on who they are. They're focusing on their beauty, on their own self-development. So I feel that uh, loss leads to completion and self-focus I feel with this nine of pentacles and around that we've got the seven of cups and this is you guys in your personal situation I feel that there's a lot of daydreaming going on here but also I feel that this is the desire to uh, now look at forward at new options opening new doors within 2017 because around this looking at new options with that seven of cups perhaps being desirous of the one thing uh, I feel that loss leads to completion or loss leads to uh, the ending of a cycle in which you are um, coming into your own, I would say, with that nine of pentacles. You're focusing on your own self-development. Okay, could have been a loss within a relationship, for example, some of you guys have endured in 2016. But it really does require, I feel, with this nine of pentacles that you go out there and you do your own thing. And you really kind of focus on yourself with this nine of pentacles. So you focus on your own strength and your own ability to be independent. And this is an independent card, confident card. This shows somebody who's independent in terms of their finances, their living arrangements. could be loss of the world leads to independence with the nine of pentacles the world card when this shows up for somebody in terms of a love relationship often this card can mean um this person meant the world to you or this person um was everything this person you felt was your soulmate they were the best thing since sliced bread so it could be loss of the world leads to independence because five of cups is loss the world can mean something that was great an amazing thing to you and now it leads to independence the nine of pentacles so for some of you guys it could be that in 2017 there will be some loss here but it leads to you guys being able to strengthen yourself you know uh every rainbow has a silver lining sorry not rainbow every cloud has a silver lining i think that's the saying so even though we see that you are open to new 
ventures and new avenues with the Seven of Cups being the overall energy for your personal situation. Around that, the loss of the world leads to independence. Or loss leads to completion and independence. There's definitely an ending here, I feel, within your personal situation. But it's coming in to serve as a catalyst for you guys developing who you are going forward in 2017. And therefore, the overall outcome is the world. And the world says that there is a new cycle opening up to you. The world is your oyster, I feel, is the overall outcome. You can go anywhere. You can do anything. The world can also mean... Uh, uh, something that was burdening you, a heavy burden, the world on your shoulders. So potentially there is a sense of being free for some of you guys in your personal situation. Loss of the world on your shoulders in brackets leads to independence, nine of pentacles. So we could look at it in a far more positive light to say that maybe some of the um, burdens or stresses, even though we don't have a ten of wands here, the world can still represent... Uh, you know, I've got a lot of stresses, I've got a lot of struggles, I've got a lot of things heaped on my shoulders. But it almost, for me, means uh, uh, a lessening off the world on our shoulders, the, a sense of relief. In which a newfound independence and fortitude is found within the Nine of Pentacles. And therefore, the overall energy is the world is your oyster. Seven of Cups is a wonderful card as well because it suggests, well, I'm open and free to look at new options now. And therefore, the overall outcome is the world. Ending of one cycle, beginning of another, but also the ability to uh, accomplish a great many things in 2017 in your personal situation. Um, uh, Virgo, let's have a look what's going on in your careers. Well, there might be a little bit of a pause uh, four of Swords, pretty much sometimes within a career reading, means that there's a bit of a break within a career. Uh, some of you guys might be taking time out to contemplate what you want to do career-wise going forward. Um, it might be that you're having a rest or you're taking a break from a certain career path uh, with this Four of Swords. Let's have a look at, uh, before you get up and kind of get going again looking for something, let's have a look at what's around that. Well, the Two of Wands suggests that there is a new path. There's a, I always say with the two of wands, it's a card about being at a crossroads. So some of you guys might be at a crossroads here. Some of you guys might be at the start of a new uh, progressive journey in terms of your career with the two of wands. What's around this card? Well, you're weighing something up here. Uh, I feel that you're at a crossroads and you need to weigh something up in terms of career with the, the Two of Pentacles. You might be at a crossroads in terms of juggling finances as well with the Two of Pentacles. So it might suggest that the Four of what Four of Swords as being the general energy is a lot of you guys are contemplating how you move forward in terms of your career because it could be around this that you're at a crossroads and it, that might be in terms of your finances. You're juggling finances here. And that leads to the Three of Swords severance struggle making some very difficult decisions. I feel for some of you guys, in terms of your career, you're going to be leaving certain careers because maybe it's not bringing in the finance that you need or it's not bringing in the um, enough money so that you're able to do exactly what you want or you're able to leave the type of lifestyle that you need to live. Because we've got the Three of Swords here in the outcome area. And Three of uh, Swords often means a struggle or it means uh, making a head over a heart decision. So when you get Three of Swords, keywords are things like heartbreak, struggle, uh, difficulties, conflicts, um, upset, depression. But also another key word with the Three of Swords, Virgo, is head over heart. Because the swords are the head and the heart is the heart. So we can see that there, you know, you can't plunge a heart into a sword. You can plunge a sword into a heart. So it's head over heart decision. So it could be that you're at a crossroads here and need you in order. To, sorry, you're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision that will lead to uh, severance. Possibly conflict within a financial, within a family situation if you are deciding and you're telling your partner, look, you know, I don't like the job that I'm in. 
I've decided I want to leave it. It's not working for me. I need to take a break. So I feel that, you know, for some of you guys, the Four of Swords says that there will be a bit of a break within your careers because there is uh, the Four of Swords is showing us the general energy, but also the need to look at the uh, situation in a very realistic light in a very logical light and therefore needing to draw back a little bit. So I feel that you're looking to, for some of you guys, there's going to be a break here potentially, four of swords. And that's because the energies around it are showing that maybe you're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision that could lead with the three of swords to severance, uh, possibly some form of a struggle, but also the need to make some head over heart decisions in terms of the career. And where's everything heading in terms of your career? Well, justice, and that's great because the justice card, again, you've got two cards that represent completion here, the world and justice. Justice is the right thing to do. It leads to justice. You get your justice. You get your um, completion. There is a completion and ending of a situation. When you get the justice card, it's not just about making big decisions, but where do those big decisions lead, Virgo? Those big decisions lead to balance and harmony and I feel that the overall outcome with the justice card is not just saying that you're completing a stage within your career uh, careers in 2017 I feel that the justice card is also saying it leads to balance and harmony and equilibrium for yourself going forward okay because I feel that some of you guys aren't happy and it could be for financial reasons it because it could be because you're not getting full enjoyment within the career that you've got Okay, for some of you guys, it could be that there is a new path that you've taken, but you're weighing this up, perhaps because of the Three of Swords. Maybe there's some form of conflict within the, and you can see this person, the way that they're lying down is they're facing the Three of Swords on this card as well. So they might be facing some form of inner turmoil, possibly turmoil with others as well. And therefore, the overall outcome is justice, making a big decision that returns strength to oneself, a sense of balance, harmony, equilibrium. You're doing it because you're being fair to yourself more than anything else here. I feel I do sense here with this career reading here, there is something you're not happy about within your careers and it will end up with some of you guys leaving a certain career and moving on to something else. Let's have a look what's going on in your love lives, uh, Virgo. Well, the page of swords can represent an argument. So there might be some form of... Um, Difficulty, especially in communication with the Page of Swords. Usually when you get Page of Swords in terms of love, it can represent even severance within a relationship, this card can. Because anywhere that you get one sword like this, for example, the Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, um, Knight of Swords, they can represent severance because they've got a sword there. And this card is ready to strike. Some of you guys might be ready to strike on a new relationship. And some of you guys, it might be that you've got some arguments going on some difficult communications with a partner with the page of swords energy and for some of you guys uh, it could be that there is severance in a relationship uh, difficult communication disappointing communication within a relationship what's around this well it's the need to move on uh, six of swords often means um, I'm leaving a difficult situation behind uh, I'm avoiding uh, those swords in the boat are obscuring this man's view. I hope you guys can see that. Let's try and move these along a little bit. The six swords in the boat are obscuring the man's view. So he's not looking to what's obscuring his view. He's looking to a clearer path. So I feel some of you guys are going to be looking to a clearer path within a relationship. Well, that's interesting. I feel that avoidance... This Six of Swords can also mean avoiding the issue because the swords are the issue. The swords are the communication. Um, the swords are uh, the ideas and the thoughts that are obscuring our ability to uh, see clearly in a situation. Um, so it could be that lack of clarity with this Six of Swords uh, creates frustration with the Eight of Swords. And possibly the need to cut out the relationship. You've got all sword cards here in the relationship reading. That's not great, uh, Virgo. It really isn't. It really isn't. I don't feel that this is. Um, because if I were to read it as keywords, I would say lack of clarity. Or avoiding 
uh, communication maybe with that Six of Swords creates frustration and possibly depression with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can represent when one is depressed within a relationship, but it can also represent the need to cut a relationship out. So I do feel that there's severance happening for some of you guys within the... I don't feel that this is about... And this might be... The energies might be the need to provoke a conversation uh, with the Page of Swords, but it can also be that there is difficult communication. You can see also with this sword card, with the Page of Swords, he holds the sword back. So sometimes this is somebody wants to strike on something, but they don't. So that's where when you get the, this card as a communication card, it can say that there are delays in communication. So there might be some difficulty with communication with a partner because uh, you're avoiding the issue here, which creates frustration and perhaps severance or detachment with that Queen of Swords within a relationship. And where is this heading in terms of your love relationships in 2017? Wow, the star. But the star card, you've got to be careful with this card again because you can see that this person here on the star pours two cups. They're jugs, but we can read them as cups as well. She's pouring water from two cups. Now, the two of cups is on its own as a standalone card. It's a card about two people who are coming together. They're in love. They're showing that they've got feelings for one another. But the two of cups on the star card can sometimes mean, well, the cup is half empty within this relationship. But it can also mean, you know, I'm kind of pouring my tears out. I'm really upset. I'm crying. Uh, there is a sense of um, cleansing. Uh, so for some of you guys, it might be that the overall outcome in terms of love is that by if you're avoiding uh, the issue and it's creating frustration, if somebody's avoiding the issue, it could be um, Virgo and air sign. Maybe you've got a lot of air uh, in the um, in the love reading here. So it could be maybe an air sign is avoiding uh, communication with you and it's leading to frustration for some of you guys if it's a new relationship or somebody that you've just been seeing in 2017 it might be that they are the page of swords the page of swords can represent the air sign individual so maybe this is the person here uh gemini libra aquarius individual and they are avoiding um some form of a conversation with you here and it's leading to frustration which then sees you guys in the end, with that Queen of Swords cutting this individual out. But then I feel that this outcome shows a release of tension with the Star card, okay? So it, it sees you releasing this relationship. The two jugs that are pouring water out of them are saying, you know what, actually I'm letting go. I'm letting go. Healing is starting to occur. So I feel with the Star card, when the water is being poured out, you're no longer keeping this stale water within um within the cups you're pouring it out because healing is starting to occur i feel for some of you guys whether you're attached or unattached the letting go of a relationship potentially <coughs> excuse me will see healing coming in for you in the year 2017 let's have a look what's going on in your home situations here well, wow, that's nice because we've got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups means the greatest joy. So for some of you guys, you might be feeling great jo joy in terms of your home lives. Um, real uh, uh, happiness and emotional uh, satisfaction and emotional completion um, and emotional... Um, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Um, yeah, emotional satisfaction... Uh, abundance, completion, the most happiness that you can feel within a family situation. This can also mean a changing of cycles though. What's around this? Well, the High Priestess, that's interesting to come up for your home situation. So it might be that there's a secret here. Uh, the High Priestess can mean that there is a secret. The High Priestess can be uh, the need to um, tap into our intuitive qualities this can potentially represent a person for example maybe somebody that you go to for guidance it can represent a scorpio pisces uh usually sco usually a pisces individual but it's, it's very much rooted in water i feel the high priestess a lot of the time so scorpio pisces uh individual potentially but it could be that there is a woman here the three of wands it could be i feel that the high priestess is saying that your intuition tells you to look forward with that three of wands to victory right so this is a lovely reading for your home i feel that if you've been experiencing difficulties within your home life um uh virgo that your intuition in the uh year 2017 is telling you to look forward with the three of wands because the three of wands looks forward to victory 
with the six of wands okay so if you've been going through a difficult time in terms of your personal relationships within the home it's telling you that your intuition you'll be feeling highly intuitive uh, that if you carry on looking forward the three of wands can mean expectation because this person looks forward because they're expecting something to come to them all right after all the effort this individual's put in they're expecting the fruits of their labor so this person with the two of wands behind him has already put something in motion it's already there and with the third one he holds on to and he's looking to the future he's waiting for the thing that he's invested in to come back to him so some of you guys might be feeling highly intuitive in terms of your home life uh, that intuition might be leading to expectation with the three of wands that you're going to have some victory so the ten of cups can be also reunions with family that are abroad coming to see you so for some of you guys you might be expecting to see that family from abroad in the year 2017 as well but you've definitely got something i feel virgo to look forward to in terms of the home life area and what is the overall outcome for home where is this heading the chariot that's lovely so there's a journey taking place perhaps here i feel that somebody's coming to see you because the chariot is notoriously a travel card and it comes at fast speed as well also this card references uh it does run it is actually indicative of the house of um home and family affairs i feel astrological astrologically wise i don't deal in a lot of astrology but i do know that this references the house of uh, home and family and responsibility and stuff like that i feel that you're going to be bringing also with this chariot the overall outcome says success when you get the chariot it means that there is a successful situation that's being resolved it means that you're overcoming some form of an obstacle that you've been through um in the past and you're going to have some victory so i feel that you guys are going to be really with this card getting your house back into order um in the year 2017 so if you've been going through any type of a difficult situation uh any type of obstacles difficulties within the family maybe there's been uh somebody who's been away from you for quite some time um virgo then i would say that there will be many kind of reunions and returns also i feel that with you guys it could be as well that uh you're going to see family from abroad probably possibly with these cards here and also i feel that this is about you guys getting your house into order so taking the reins taking hold of a difficult situation because you can see that you're anticipating victory here within um your home life reading let's have a look at what's going on in a future tense for you guys Well, the magician, and that is the uh, a beautiful card because it references uh, lots of communication. Maybe it also references uh, the ability to be a creator, to have the capacity to start creating some real magic within your lives. Some of you guys might be looking to design something new, for example, or to start creating a new business or um, to start doing some home renovations this magician can show up in all sorts of ways it's a very much a creative card but you're creating magic here and you have all the tools and all of the resources at your disposal to start creating something new what's around this uh, energy here well the king of cups shows up virgo and there's a man sitting here could be a man or male or female for the purpose of, of a a general reading so we can see that maybe a water sign individual here scorpio pisces cancerian but it shows there's a person possibly with that full card will offer a new opportunity oh why is that in the reverse that's interesting isn't it why did that come up in the reverse? Ace of Wands in the reverse. Usually if it was upright, I would have said possibly there's a man who will offer an opportunity for growth. And that's why the general energy is the magician. Entering a really magical time, starting something new, starting a new development, a new course. But it's in the reverse. And in the reverse, it can represent delays or a lack of motivation. So possibly there is a man I don't know whether this man is the fool though. This man might be the fool because he lacks motivation. There is a man who is a fool because he lacks motivation. And therefore, why is the energy the magician? 
Maybe this man speaks a lot of hot air. Could be that there's a person around you who is a magician. They create illusions. They're very, very good at creating uh, these magical ideas. But do they follow through with them? Because there is a man who's possibly uh, a fool who lacks motivation with the Ace of Wands. So in the future, it kind of speaks of somebody I feel around you. This isn't you. This is a, possibly a water sign individual. Yeah, I think there's a man who's a fool because he lacks motivation. He or she lacks motivation. I feel that if this is your energy, the King of Cups, the King of Cups is usually a very, very good card, but this is somebody also who um, lacks the capacity in a way to take action. He'd rather sit there and wait. He's a very patient king, is the King of uh, Cups. But he also holds back his emotions quite a bit as well. It could also be that there is a career path here that has the potential that has potential with this full card, but lacks motivation with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And maybe that's why the energy is the magician. So if this isn't a person here, Virgo, I feel that there is something you do. King of Cups can be creative work that we do. Um, it can be things like um, being a writer or uh working within the fashion field or working within health situations, working within psychology. Um, it's, it's very much creative and also a kind of a psychological card is the King of Cups. So you can work in various spheres as the King of Cups. It can be somebody who works in the outdoors. This can be creative pursuits. It could be that there are in the future tense, uh, Virgo, that creative pursuits with this King of Cups lead to doors opening with the Fool, but you lack motivation with the Ace of Wands. Which for me then says maybe the Magician as the overall energy for the future says that you are at the point of wanting to start creating something new. But you've got to be very careful with the Magician card. Um, because the magician for me says that you've got everything that you need here. So you've got everything at your disposal, all of the resources, all of the tools that you need to start creating a life of magnificence. Uh, and around this, there is a creative path that you may feel excited about with the fool, but you lack the motivation with the Ace of Wands in the reverse to actually make it happen. So I'm getting. A, I'm not saying that you're lazy, Virgo, but I feel that there is a particular thing that you guys. It might not be a person, even this King of Cups. It just might be a certain path that interests you. That you might be kind of at the start off with the Fool, but you lack the motivation to actually move forward with this path. I feel there's something that you guys will be very interested in with these cards here, but the overall energy shows the Magician. The Magician should be cause and effect. So really, the magician is warning us that, you know, we are the magicians within our lives. We have the ability to start creating something of magnitude. But the magician is no promise of success. You've got to follow that through. You really have to follow the. The magician can also be really kind of in his head. You can have the most amazing, amazing thoughts as a magician. But also, this is the card of illusion. So it's about a lot of illusionary thoughts as well. Um, a lot of massive dreams. The overall, uh, the uh, the future position might be showing the energy is, is that you've got a lot of dreams, a lot of kind of amazing thoughts of what you want to create. And around this is a creative path that you may want to pursue with the full card, but you lack the motivation with that Ace of Wands. So be careful of that energy, Virgo, that there are things that you may want to do going forward in 2017. But for some of you, they might just stay a dream or they might just stay an amazing idea. But it might be when it comes to the crux, you might be kind of like, oh, well, I'll do it tomorrow 
or you know you just might lack the get up and go to actually do it let's have a look what the overall outcome is for your future position well the shadow side it's the devil it's fear the overall outcome is fear fear holds you back that's why you lack motivation with the ace of wands because of fear the overall outcome is showing the devil the which is tarot the shadow side is actually the devil in the um in the right away tarot so i feel the devil is that your fears are holding you back with the devil card okay i also feel that uh, the overall outcome of the devil shows that you are not seeing the greater picture the devil for me is a card where we focus completely on the here and now we focus on what looks a certain way from the outside but we don't take time to go really down deep uh, it's a very negative connotation for me is the devil the devil can mean as the overall outcome if, you, there were, if it was better aspected if this ace of wands had been in the upright i would have said the devil is an outcome uh, overall for this future position would have meant lots of hard work because it does mean hard work going forward but i also feel that you are possibly even work shy because you look at this card here and both people are shielding themselves from the devil can you see how they're hiding from the devil they won't confront the fear they hide from the fear so there's something you're not confronting here maybe some of you guys are going to be a little bit fearful of all the hard work the devil the taskmaster being under such duress and being under such um you know orders or something like that some of you guys are trying to shield yourself from the devil the devil in terms of especially when it's to do with the work path or something like that can mean that you're a slave to the grind so some of you guys might be uh, there might be a lack of motivation in this field because you don't want to adhere to uh, being a slave to anyone or anything so uh, you know it could be that this king of cups definitely is a career path is some form of path that you're taking um towards a new opportunity towards the pursuing of a new opportunity but you lack motivation with that ace of wands and why is that because the overall outcome is the shadow side and you're shielding yourself from the devil so maybe you know even this magician here could be the devil i guess in a way um and the, maybe the magician is the person that provides you with this opportunity but maybe you lack trust uh in a future uh, situation in 2017 it's either your own fears or you don't trust this individual potentially that gives you the opportunity or you don't even trust yourself or you're fearing the hard work that comes along with it potentially let's have a look at what your uh, wishes are for 2017 um, Virgo well the Emperor and I feel that this is either for um, somebody to look after you because the emperor can be a patriarchal figure it can also suggest a father figure so for some of you guys it might be that you are wishing for uh, a very strong authoritarian uh, caring protective energy to take care of your business for you i'm not saying it is but it can also be that you're wishing to take control in every area of your life i mean if your wish is for um to take control then i feel that you'll be wanting to take control in terms of your personal situation in terms of your family situation uh, it could be even an emperor is somebody that you love that you want to come back within the family situation here uh, it can also be within the work situation here so we're seeing one two th three areas that control off a situation you are wishing for uh, also within your love life here you're wishing for control uh, but also the emperor yeah i feel this control all over because i feel if it's somebody that you're shielding yourself from with that devil card or some form of work situation that you don't want to be tied to or a contract or whatever it is that you don't want to be tied to in the future position then this will say well i want to do things my way with the emperor card so i feel that it's more about doing things your way in the year 2017 virgo and not adhering to anybody else's sensibility let's have a look at what the overall outcome is for this year for you guys oh the tower so the tower says that there's going to be some major shifts major eruptions happening for you guys okay whatever it is that you have built your stability on uh during 2016 going into 2017 it's not stable there are going to be some huge kind of uh shifts and shake-ups going on within your within your world but also there's going to be a cleansing that's coming through with the tower card as the overall outcome so where can we see the tower 
in this spread? Where is the tower quite prevalent? Well, it might be quite prevalent in the love situation in which I feel that some of you guys are cutting somebody out here. You've had enough of a situation here, I feel. Um, and I feel it might be around an air sign potentially going forward. Uh, we're seeing perhaps within the home life as well that it's ruled by the Ten of Cups, which is feeling the greatest joy and happiness because your intuition tells you to expect possibly the Six of Wands can be a visitor. Because the Six of Wands does mean an approach or a visitor. So it could be that your intuition is telling you to expect a visitor here. In which the tower shows up as the overall outcome in this area. Because suddenly, wow, this thing happens. Um, suddenly there's a breakthrough in an area that uh, you thought there wouldn't be a breakthrough in. Whether that's somebody coming from abroad, from afar. Or uh, somebody that you haven't seen in a long time. That type of thing. Um uh, within your um, present situation, the tower might be prevalent because there is loss uh, that brings completion um, and independence. So some of you guys might be going it alone in a certain area here and the uh, something you felt that you wouldn't get over, the tower as the overall outcome says, well, there's a major shift because of this happening in that you are more self-sufficient perhaps than you thought that you ever were or you ever could be in terms of your personal situation. And also, the tower here, for me, suggests some huge uh, shake-up within your um, working environments, uh, Virgo, because we've got, maybe some of you guys are at a crossroads uh, in which you need to make a decision that could lead with that Three of Swords to difficulties and struggles. So maybe there's going to be, could potentially be some arguments here, that type of thing, or some disagreements concerning what path you take but we can see that the overall outcome for your work area is justice and it is the ability to create a, a harmonious balance within your life because you're not feeling harmonious or balanced here at all and you need to make a sacrifice in order to get that back which is your wishes for the emperor you're making sacrifices because you need to take control back of your life and also the overall outcome is that tower card which says you know well in order to regain balance and control within our lives, sometimes there has to be a huge shift because we need a complete cleansing of what has gone before. Let's have a look then finally at what your advice card is for the year. Oh, the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands of the advice card can say, well, stand your ground, but it can also say, be cautious. Okay, it can say two things. The Nine of Wands is standing your ground and perseverance. It says perseverance is going to bring you success. If the advice is on... Uh, your love life then it's be cautious okay be cautious because there's somebody in your life that's not worth having there they're causing some disruptions here okay they might be causing arguments they might be causing some form of anxiety within the relationship and it's their uh, inability to communicate maybe with that six of swords that sees the relationship become quite frustrating um and you uh cutting them out this can this combination for me can also say moving on from a frustrating relationship um brings clarity or mental clarity with the queen of swords energy so for me the advice of the nine of wands is you know if somebody's not willing to let go in a relationship then you need to stand your ground or you need to be cautious around a particular person because they're not really kind of going to enhance your life in any way shape or form uh the nine of wands is advice i feel um within your personal situation says yes you will uh for some of you guys um experience some loss but it's really going to give you a better understanding with that world card uh being the card where we reach a level of understanding through a journey that we've been through that you can survive on your own and you can be independent fully independent and that the world is your oyster there are you know doors opening up to you because uh, there has been a loss, uh, possibly off the world, somebody who meant a lot to you, or there's been a loss uh, that brings completion and independence uh, to your world. So, you know, stand your ground in there because you're going to get to where you want to go. And nine of wands can be saying, well, you're going to need as advice perhaps to be cautious around uh, 
partners family situations when it comes to your working environment because it might not be pretty if you you know if you've got if you feel that you need to make a decision in terms of work because it's all about you and not about them and it might be that a partner says well what are we going to do you're on a good wage where you are why do you want to leave it where does that leave us with the mortgage but this card can be saying well hold your ground because you will get what you want in the end but also be cautious that this might cause some form of disruption within the family and also the nine of wands in terms of I feel the future aspect well wow, that's an interesting one because I feel that there is a path here C could be created with the king of cups as well um it might even be with the king of cups that you're mastering your emotions or there is a great self-awareness over a new opportunity that lacks uh lacks a startup or lacks some form of motivation so it could be that there is an opportunity in the future position that comes to you it could be via a, a magician who is telling you the magician is a communication card so this magician as well another way we could look at this is that there is somebody who tells you about an opportunity we know the magician is a master communicator so they're able to kind of uh, dream of all sorts of things and embellish so the, for the magician sometimes this is about embellishing the truth a little bit it's not in the reverse it doesn't show a con man but it shows somebody who is able to embellish something and make it look better than it actually is and it might be that your presence of mind around this uh, opportunity the fall or your presence of mind that you might be doing something foolish will lead to a lack of motivation Maybe this thing is not a good startup. And like it's in the reverse, so it's got a thumbs down. It's not a good thing to go for. And therefore, the overall outcome is the shadow. It's the shadow side. Maybe you're shielding yourself from the devil because you know that this devil uh, is likely to cause some form of um, problems going forward. Okay, so you're kind of hiding away from what you consider to be a devil, what you consider to be um, an opportunity that comes with a price. All right. And therefore, the advice I feel for here is to be cautious, maybe in this particular area in the future. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely reading. Really, really good, Virgo. Um, brilliant, in fact. Really like it. I feel it's going to be a, it's a year of all sorts of things for you, all sorts of things coming in. But, it, you know, the main thing is to when you need to be cautious, you know, this is about acting on your hunches. So when you need to act on a hunch, act on a hunch. If something is too good to be true, it probably is in this area here. If somebody is not uh, being honest or they're not, um, you know, you're not being able to communicate with them and they're avoiding stuff and you're trying to move on, do that. Be cautious. You know, tap into your intuition with this card. Uh, don't hold out for a person. Just let it go, as it were. There's a lot of good things coming in for you in... Uh, uh, 2017 Virgo I would like to say thank you very much for choosing Carol's Universe for your year ahead life spread reading you can always order these year ahead life spread readings on the website and yeah thank you for your time my darling take care